Hello internet and welcome to Battlespot. Now this is going to be the last video I upload with this capture card. Again, thank you to Duncan for letting me borrow it from him. Um, you know, I've had a lot of use out of it, so you know, really thank you very much. Uh, very much appreciated. Um, again, like I've been saying all week, hopefully by the time this goes out, I will have found myself um, my own capture card. Fingers crossed, really fingers crossed, um, because it would be a shame to you know not be able to do Battlespot anymore. But you know, I'll try and sort it out. I will try and make sure I do have a capture card, so um, you know, so that we're hopefully not going to be affected by this at all. So for Friday to finish off this week um, and this capture card, I suppose this is the last time. This is the last video that we're going to have this rating, isn't it? Because this DS is going. Any other any other capture card, it's just going to get reset again, isn't it? So um, where are we? Well, we're 1,761, which is okay, I suppose. <laughs> but um, I don't know, we'll see how we get. I mean, we've actually done pretty well with this week, you know. Ooh, we get a, a highly rated person. Um, Riku from the United States. Um, with ooh, an interesting double primal team with two trick room options. Um, yeah, interesting. Um, yeah, you know, hopefully, hopefully we'll climb a bit higher. If we don't, then it doesn't matter. But yeah, hopefully you saw Monday and um, Wednesday's videos. You know, we actually made some pretty cool plays. Um, and yeah, they went pretty well, so, uh, you know, go watch them if you haven't, um, quite proud of them, actually. <laughs> so, um, what are we going to do here? Kangaskhan, Mawile, it's only going to bring one of them. Cresselia, Double Primal, Whimsicott. Whimsicott does look pretty good against my team, actually. So I could see him bringing that. But that would mean not bringing either one of his Primals or Megas or Cresselia. Like, a Kangaskhan lead is scary for us, it really is. Especially... <coughs> excuse me, especially if... It's got inner focus, which is always the, the real conundrum, isn't it? I think I do want to lead with Lipid, but... I'm actually tempted to lead with Breloom. Lipid Breloom. I mean, I'm tempted with Kirim as well. I think we'll go with Kieran, but I do definitely want Breloom in the back. And I think I think Kyogre I think Kyogre, but I wanted to bring Scizor maybe. Yeah, maybe we didn't need Kyogre. I suppose I suppose it will obviously help against his Groudon, but Breloom is uh Breloom. Scizor is good against his Whimsicott, good against his Cresselia, pretty good against his Kangaskhan. Um just not against the primals, I suppose. So, you know, that's the thinking. Mm, is he is he going to have inner focus? Is he going to have inner focus? Are you going to be one of those naughty boys? Um, because, like, you know, a few months ago when I was using gravity everywhere, every Kangaskhan seemed to have Scrappy. But now I think um, inner focus might have come around a bit more again. I'm not sure. I suppose if he gets Trick Room off, then my Breloom is actually standing pretty well um, so maybe do I go for the fake out into the Kangaskhan do I really do that would the Dragon Pulse and, and Foul Play actually knock it out hmm that's an interesting question I'm gonna try I'm gonna go for a Foul Play and Dragon Pulse into the Kangaskhan if he doesn't Mega Evolve then okay so, so I could have gone for the fake out there um, Maybe he's going to fake out my Kyurem. If he does, then he's going to be taking a foul play, and um, he's not going to appreciate it. If he doesn't fake out, then... Uh, which he does. If he doesn't fake out, then he would have had both the foul play and Dragon Pulse going into him, which could have potentially knocked him out. But, again, we threaten with the Encore now, so there is that. That does do just over half. So, the Kangaskhan doesn't have much bulk in it. And a Trick Room, which, again, I don't mind too much, because we've got Breloom. And I can even Mac Punch before he sucker punches me now in Trick Room, so... Yeah, I'm not, not... Not too bothered about that at all. I am going to Encore the Kangaskhan, though. Although I do expect the Kangaskhan to switch out. He could Sucker Punch, now he's faster than my Lipid, out of my Encore. But a Sucker Punch on Kirim shouldn't do too much damage. So, maybe I'll Encore the Kangaskhan, and... And... Hmm. I'm thinking Dragon Pulse the Kangaskhan as well. 
Or I could just try and Dragon Pulse the, the Chrysalian and get a bit of damage onto it. I'm just thinking if he predicts the Encore and switches his, his Kangaskhan out. But I don't think he will. Yeah, he actually sucker punches. So, okay, Kieran's going to take some damage, but I'm just getting a bit of chip damage onto the... Um, onto the onto the uh, Cresselia here, yeah. So he is he's encored into Sucker Punch now, which means my Brillium can come in really safely and uh, do some business on it. He actually Ice Beam the Kirim as well, which I don't think will knock me out. Yeah, even even a critical hit there doesn't knock me out. So actually, we're not going to get Brillium in safely, not this turn. Uh, the chip damage on Cresselia could be really helpful for us there too. I suppose now I can go for a really safe. Um. A really safe. See, I kind of want to leave the Kangaskhan in there, because I can switch Kiram into Kyogre, avoid Sucker Punches. Lyper's not going to take much damage from a Sucker Punch. Um, so I could either foul play the, the Cresselia, or I could try and taunt the Cresselia too. I think, I think I'll think i foul play the Cresselia, and switch into Kyogre to avoid Sucker Punches. And if he does, um, like I'm sort of expecting... Ooh, okay. Well, someone's going to take a foul play here. It's, okay, Mawile. Not going to do much, but I'll take it. Um, I thought he might uh, maybe Ice Beam into the Kiram slot as well, in case I switch it out into something. Um, Kyogre can take an Ice Beam. So, um, if he Sucker Punches what was the Kiram, then fantastic. Um, he might just be Sucker Punching the Lyper, though, to maybe break what he thinks might be a Sash. If he knows his calculations well enough, then they'll know that that should be a, a boosting item. Mawile's going to be taking a little bit of damage as well. I suppose it puts Mawile into Scold range. Um, yeah, good. If it is EV to survive a Scold, maybe. Yeah, I'll take that. That worked out nicely for us. But... I don't know, I think... I'm not sure what he's going to do here. But I, I think I know what I'm going to do. Now I'm going to foul play his Kangaskhan. And I'm going to protect the Kyogre. Uh, I don't want him damaging my Kyogre. Uh, if he switches his Kangaskhan out, then I'm, knocking, then I'm getting a foul play damage onto something. Um, if he knocks my Lyper out, which I think he might do, I think he might just Iron Head or play rough into the Lyper. If he does, then I get a free switch into my Breloom, finally. So, Sucker Punch is into the, into the thingy, and play rough into the Lyper, yeah, okay. So now Breloom comes in, and he actually didn't... Okay. I am only just noticing now. How have I only just noticed this? And... <laughs> And, amusingly enough, um, that Mawile, unmegrevolved, is still somewhat of a threat. I suppose it doesn't threaten my Kyogre very much, uh, but it, it will. Um, hmm, yeah. It will break my Brilliant Sash. It'll bring me down to, uh, it'll bring me down to my Sash. So... What do we do? I think I think we spore the Kangaskhan here, because it covers a switch, and um, he can't do anything about it otherwise. He had Cresselia, and we haven't seen any restricted Pokemon yet, have we? Or have we? I'm not too sure. Was it Groudon? No, it wasn't Groudon, was it? He led with Kangaskhan, Cresselia, didn't he? So, okay, I think I'm just going to scold them a while. He'll suck a bunch of my Kyogre, he'll get some, <coughs> some damage onto it, um, but not too much. Oh, okay, well, that critical hit is actually quite a bit of damage, isn't it? And the play rough into the Brillium, yeah, but we'll survive that. Yeah, we don't even need our Focus Sash, actually. So we get the Spore off, we will be knocking out the Mawile here, um, which I didn't notice. I bet you're all screaming at me, that is not, or cannot be a Mega Mawile. <laughs> um, so, you know, in a way, maybe I, I could have kept it on the field. Maybe I should have kept it on the field, actually. Um, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, he's got Cresselia. Groudon wouldn't be too bad for us, because we've got Nakirum Sacrifice, I suppose. But then, uh, we'll see, I guess. 
It is, well, this thing is, is Cresselia. Yeah? I could try and spore that Cresselia. Yeah? They don't tend to have Lumberry. But this Brillum, like, that's assuming he goes for a Trick Room. Hmm. Because Brillum is supposed to be slower than Cresselia. So maybe... Maybe we'll protect Brillum because I don't want to lose any Weather War here. And... I will... Scald the Kangaskhan. I'm just hoping he doesn't switch it out into his Groudon, which is exactly what he's done. Um, oh, it's his Kyogre. Okay. Well, that actually makes it maybe a little, more, little bit more difficult for us, to be honest. Um... Yeah, that's actually quite tricky. I mean, we're going to get a Scald onto it. If he Trick Rooms here, then Brillium will be the fastest thing on the field. So we'll see what happens. So we get the Scald off. What's the Cresselia going to do then? A Burn would be fantastic. Ah, he does Trick Room. So we could have spored it there. We could have spored it. Um... But is he really going to anticipate my Brillium to be slower than his Kyogre? If he does, he can protect his Kyogre and just knock my Brillium out with a nice beam from his Cresselia. If he doesn't, then I can just Bullet Seed into his Kyogre. It's just it's just one of these turns. Like, I could maybe switch the, the Brillium into the into the Kyogre if I did protect, uh, predict that. <sighs> oh, this is nasty. I think, uh, I think I'm just going to attack, but... I don't know, again, if I if I predict the Protect from Kyogre, I could just Spore into the Cresselia. But... Let's just do this. Let's see what happens. He's going for a Helping Hand, so he's not protecting. Fantastic. Yes. Helping Hand Protect is not going to do anything for him, yeah. Bullet Seed. If I get three hits, it's gone. One hit. Two hits. Three hits, yes. Yeah, three hits or more is... I think like 66% chance or so, 67% um, chance, so the odds were in our favour there. Good, phew. I almost psyched myself out of doing that. Uh, Bernard Cresselia was nice too. We'll see if it is Lumberry or not. It's not. No Citrus Berry either. He has got Kangaskhan, which is still asleep as well. Um, but he is in Trick Room. Kangaskhan, have you taken any sleep turns? I can't remember if it has. If it hasn't, I'm free to just Mac Punch it and knock it out and then just scold the uh, the Cresselia. If... Even if it has taken a turn of, of uh, sleep, it might not wake up. Worst case scenario, it wakes up, goes for a, a fake out onto the Brillium. I knock out the Cresselia with a scold and... Both of my Pokemon would be able to knock out the Kangaskhan, yeah. So I think I'm, I think I'm really safe just doing this, actually. Yeah, he doesn't even try and, and wake up and uh, and fake out. So maybe he hadn't got any turns to sleep. Um, yeah. Wow. We we actually get this game too. So it's been a been a week, hasn't it? What a successful week we've had so far. Um, yeah, I'm surprised and happy. Brilliant is actually doing lots of work. Um, yeah, I don't know. I suppose, you know, I am really experienced with Brilliant. I I do consider probably every move with, with Brilliant. And um, I don't know. I suppose over the course of this week, we've, we've made the right moves. You know, I don't always make the right moves. But over the course of the videos this week, we have done. We have still got one more game to get. Um, hopefully, we won't sort of finish on a dampener. But... Let's see. Let's see. As we're at um, one seven 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 now, with um, yeah, it's a decent rating, I suppose. We're climbing up there. I suppose if I did sort of sit in a corner, a little cave, and hide away and and ladder, maybe I could get quite high with this team. You never know. Do you find uh, find Coloss from the United States with a ditto? Yay. Um, right. Ooh. This could be... Well. 
could be interesting. I can't lead Kiram. Because he's got too many threats. The Kangaskhan and the Xerneas for it. Hmm. I, I, I like Lyper as a lead, I think. But what else? Lipid. I don't know, Lipid Kirim. Lipid Kirim would not go well if he led Kangaskhan Xerneas. I think I, I definitely want Scizor and Kyogre in this game. And I'm leading with Lipid, so that means I've got one more slot. What's it going to be? I'm tempted with Kiram to be honest. I think I'll go. It's, it's done well for us this week. We'll go with Kiram. If he leads with Kangaskhan and Xerneas here, um, or just Xerneas in general, I think I'm in a bad way. Um, but we'll see. He might want to lead with the Zapdos and try and Tailwind, or go, you know, go that route. That's that's why I was tempted to do this, but we'll see. I suppose. And Kangaskhan Smurgle. Okay, well that could be worse. He did leave with the Kangaskhan, which isn't very nice, but it could definitely be worse. This Lipid has got Taunt on it too, but again, it could be Mental Herb. Do we fake out the Kangaskhan? Is it in a focus? Is it scrappy? You know what, I'm actually going to fake out the Kangaskhan and go for an Icy Wind. And keep your fingers crossed. I think the Smurgle might protect here. Um, the Smurgle might think that... Um, oh, I don't know. It might it might feel like it's safe to, uh, to just Dark Void, though, to be honest. I mean, if he does, I've got the Lumberry. Ooh, good. Good. And he did Mega Evolve, so we're getting this off. Fantastic. Um, yeah, I have got the Lumberry on my Kiram, so hopefully this will hit, too. Yeah, good. So... Actually, uh, I would have woken up if he did go for the Dark Void. Lipid would have been asleep, though, so that would have been potentially a little bit of a, an issue for us. It is movie too, which is never nice. Accuracy. Evasion fell. Good. As long as the the evasion doesn't rise, I'm, I'm not too too bothered, I suppose. Um, right. What do we do now, though? The Smurgle might follow me. I think it might follow me. And he'll just, um, like, low kick my Kiram or whatever. So I'm going to go for a taunt on the Smurgle and protect my Kiram. And we'll see what happens. I think he, he will target the Kiram, but I'm not sure. It is Crafty Shield. Ah, oh, that's, that's unfortunate, actually. Not a follow me, though. And he double edges into the Lipid. Oh, that's not what I want to see at all. Okay, so we've lost Lipid. And we've seen Spiky Shield and Crafty Shield. So there's probably um, Dark Void. So, follow me, Wide Guard. One of them he hasn't got. Yeah. I think I'm actually going to put Scizor out. And... The problem is, we can't let him knock out our Kieran because then we're just losing the Weather War. Bullet Punch Icy Wind, would that knock out Smurgle? It wouldn't knock out the Kangaskhan. Um, Bullet Punch, oh, that, that's kind of frustrating because Kieran was free to, to just attack there. Um, it's a good move from him, but... But... Mm, worked out for him. Um, oh, frustrating. What do we do then? Well, we Mega Evolve for a start. I think it's obvious, but I think we do this. He might just Dark Void here. I don't know, he might not. He might think Scizor's normally got a Lumberry, but... No, oh, it's Follow Me. Okay, so... Maybe... Maybe if he's using Low Kick, he's just going to knock my Kiram out here. So, that's not good. Like, we're going to be knocking out his Smurgle, but... 
Yeah, it is focus slash as well, so it's not going to be a, a single target icy wind. But, um, but I think we're going to be losing our um, Kiram here, and that will basically mean the end of the game because he'll won he will have won the weather war. Expecting he's got Groudon in the back. Yeah, low kick. Oh dear. Oh, that was close. Maybe I could EV to survive that. That was really close. The game isn't over. Um, he's going to send in his, his not crowd on here, just in case. Yeah, just in case that I am a slow Kyger to not lose the weather war or not mean he has to switch around a bit more. Um, mm, yeah. Yeah, I don't think we can win this now. Because... I don't know, maybe, like, his Xerneas isn't really that useful. So I am going to Swords Dance here with Scizor, but does he withdraw and bring in Groudon straight away, or does he just try and double edge into the Kyogre? I think I'm going to protect Kyogre here. If he switches Groudon in this turn, which he doesn't do, then that would have been a wasted turn. So this turn's worked out for us. Like, if he low kicks the Scizor, then it'll do some damage. He actually goes for a Sucker Punch there. Probably a Sucker Punch onto the Kyogre, I guess. Hmm. But now... I mean, the game isn't over. Again, the game is not over. But I feel like like he, he, he will have Groudon in the back, surely. And... He just needs to get it in safely, doesn't he? Yeah, I need to keep Kyogre safe because Kyogre is the only thing that really can knock out his Groudon. You know, with maybe some speed high winds and, and critical hits with Ice Beam, I guess. So, I do need to bullet punch the Kangaskhan here. And... I'll try and double protect. Just because he might Sucker Punch it, avoid a Sucker Punch. He might Geomancy. I actually get the double protect. So, if he uh, Dazzling Gleams on Moonblast into the Kyogre, then I'm fine with that. If, okay, he was just trying to double, trying to, uh, double edge in, I guess. I mean, in which case, I could have scalded here. He does Moonblast into the Kyogre, so double protect. Bit cheeky, but, you know, I suppose it works for us. And it is Groudon, okay, so that's, uh, that's a shame. So the Xerneas, well, the Xerneas might protect, the Xerneas might not protect. If the Xerneas does not protect, I can bullet punch it, knock it out. And then it's one on one Kyogre, Groudon, in the sun. The Xerneas might protect, so I think I'll protect Scizor here. Hoping that he protects his Xerneas. And then we can start trying to Ice Beam on his Groudon. I hope the Xerneas protects. He doesn't need to. He really doesn't need to. But... I hope he does. Yeah, all he has to do, yeah, maybe maybe I should have just bullet punched. All he has to do, really, is just Moonblast and attack with his Groudon. He just needs to knock out my Kyogre, and it's over. Ah, he's not protecting with his Xerneas. He is Geomancing, though. But he will protect next turn. Um, almost guaranteed he will protect next turn. We'll see what sort of Groudon it is now. If he is special with Eruption, then, you know, and if I win a speed tie and get the Ice Beam off, then it's not going to be threatening us too much, I suppose. If it's physical with Precipice Blades, then, you know, not good. It's Flamethrower. Okay. Ooh. I'll take that. And that does a decent amount of damage. But now he is gonna. <laughs> he is going to protect his Xerneas. And either I double protect Scizor, or I bullet punch and ice beam into his Groudon, hoping for a critical hit. A double protect is 30%. A critical hit is less than that. 
It would be safer to try and to try and do that, wouldn't it? I don't know. We are at plus two. If it isn't a bulky Groudon, maybe we can try and get some some higher rolls and potentially knock this out. We'll see. He does protect the Xerneas, so you know we call that one. Um, we'll see what happens here. Hopefully, this bullet punch will do a lot of damage. That is uh, quite a lot of damage, isn't it? Oh, and he wins a speed tie. Ah. That speed tie is winning the game. That speed tie is winning the game. That could have been an amazing comeback. Because it would have knocked him out. Oh, well, how about that for, for heartbreak? Oh. And now he just does the Moonblast. Um... Ah, uh, yeah. So actually, you know, when I was thinking I could try and double protect or whatever, um, I didn't need to because the combination of plus two bullet punch—that's a critical hit—and a burn. Okay, <laughs> can we try and get millions of protect here? I don't know. Will a do I don't think a double protect will do that. I think we need pre uh, three protect for this. Um, it's gonna be close, but uh, yeah, that speed tie winning that game. I, I I really can't can't grumble though. Yeah, that another burn isn't gonna knock him out there. I can't grumble. Um, we we came very close to winning this game. I'm actually pretty impressed with how close we were to winning this game. Um, we get a double protect. Okay. Well, it's not gonna go down, is it? No, that. <laughs> <laughs> that Xerneas has surely got like one hit point or something. So we got a critical hit and we got a burn. Um, which doesn't really make up for his speed tie win because, um, you know, if we won that speed tie then we would have just won the game. But, you know, it is a 50-50 I suppose. So this is the end of... <laughs> i just end recording now. You, you'll never know what happens. <laughs> this is the end of um, this week using this team. It has been um, really good fun using this, you know. If we don't get this triple protect, I don't really care. We've had a really, really good week using this team. Um, so, it's going to come down to this. I'm really surprised it came this close. You know, after all of that. Can you do it, Kyogre? No. <laughs> well, you know, it would have been a triple protect, wouldn't it? So, <laughs> so, you know. Yeah, like, yeah, that must have been... I mean, obviously it was a, uh, a timid... Groudon, a really fast Groudon, so it didn't have much bulk into it. So that's why a plus two bullet punch did so much damage. Um, I don't know if that guy, you know, will know that he won the speed tie there. Um, because, you know, it would have been it. You know, Scizor, bullet punch, would have put it into ice beam range. What a surprise. So, you know, there you go. <laughs> what a fantastic week we've had. I've really enjoyed using this team, you know. Really nice to see Lyper doing some work. Um, Lyper didn't really do too much work, though, to be honest. Brilliant did a lot of work. Kieran did a, a decent amount of work. Um, it's been a really good week. I've really enjoyed this. Um, again, thank you again for uh, you know to Duncan for letting me use this capture card. Um, it's been a journey using it, I suppose. But like I keep saying, you know, don't worry. Hopefully, by the time this goes out, I will have my own capture card. Fingers crossed. Really, fingers crossed. Um, so uh, we'll leave it here. So thanks a lot for watching this, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, you know, as much as I've enjoyed this week, actually, it's been good fun. So uh, thank you. Please comment, please share, please like it to all of your friends. You know, the channel is still growing again. So thank you, guys, and goodbye for now. For the last time from this capture card, goodbye for now.